Hi there, and welcome to what's going to be the fourth episode of my Lone Wolf gameplay series for Going Medieval. I'm Icon, and today we will dig out a cellar for our little colony here. We're just starting out our business here. Teothic joined our humble settlement the last episode and is now making himself really, really useful. Meanwhile, Fourthrit is doing the science, and our jobs for today will be building a proper warehouse because i feel like what i got right now is just not not enough just not enough and apart from that well i, I really don't know where we're going to end up today but i do know that i want to have a generalized storage and we have to think about a library sooner or later as well because in this game we'll have to store our knowledge in the long run really like this uh storage for food coming along here there we go so where do we build our little storage room I'm sitting on a really big coal deposit. I really had no clue there. <laughs> well. So we got this little workshop thingy and it's also Teothic's living room. When we check out the whole the map as a whole. Probably going to develop ourselves. It's that rocky soil. Soil. Well, I think I'm going to develop my uh, my next steps into this direction, at least the storage zone. So let's see, what can we build here? We can build clay walls or we can build limestone walls. I vibe for those uh, limestone walls quite hard. So let's dig out some limestone here. But I think this will take quite a long time for to be dug out, so probably not the most practical practical approach let's see what the uh, what uh, fourth root is up to well it's coming along quite nicely actually this deposit is not it does not it, oh we only chop off 400 uh, HP each Oh, so this is how this works. We're going to have a lot of limestone piles at the end of this day. So, but that also means it shouldn't be that super hard to get enough material together for a little storage here. So where do we build that? Do I really want to build into that direction? The really interesting question here is, where will we develop ourselves? Well, I think this is a good direction to go. And it's going to be a stone house. Really can't wait to build my first stone building here. All right. Let's do this. Can I build a stone door already too? No, can't. Okay, so we'll have to, to do a wooden door here. Okay, nice. Felt like a, a storage area is supposed to be made out of a proper material here. Okay, so we got some really long scale, uh, large scale uh, projects going on here. But I do approve that. So how's the cellar going? Not at all right now because they are busy building the storage room, but that's okay. Okay, I got my chronicles available here right now so how many chronicles for the next tier of research we will need a research table for that. 
Okay. Well, for now, I'm going to ignore the research for a couple of uh, days, hours, whatever. Really feel like these projects here are way more important to to be done. Mm, okay. So let's skip through the night. All right. A couple of hours later, our duties here are getting up and getting back to work. So settlers are becoming annoyed, slept in uncomfortable bed, ugly apparel. Well, okay, there's a couple of things we need to do, I guess. Okay, but I can't change the ugly clothing problems for now. Teothic needs some more experience for, for that. And I feel like the most important thing right now for me is actually getting the storage here done. Because we just don't have enough storage zone here. We should be able to live off of the berries quite well here for the time being. Okay. Teothic is doing the worst way of work efficiency. He's mining down a little bit and then he con uh, continues constructing it right away. But, well, I don't really want to micromanage them right now because it's not that important. Well, okay, never mind. <laughs> OCDs were stronger. Okay, so it's 80 units of stone per mining. Per, uh, per block here. Let's see. See, my man, it ain't that hard. Okay. So, I'll keep the chronicles in this storage zone here. But I think everything else will be landing in the new building. Let's just hope we won't be too late with agriculture and such things. Let's maybe let's maybe learn that first. I think that might be an actually smart idea. So what do we have here? Number of harvests one. Barley, herbs, red currant shrubs are the only ones we can plant down which yield harvests more often. Okay, well, let's do some small fields here. Oh, flax fields, yes please couple of carrots. I don't want to uh, overdo it. It's really, 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 really easy to overdo it. Okay. Tall grass. I really, I don't really think I need that. Okay, we're almost done with the warehouse. That's good. Uh, such a wonderful feeling to have this place alive and running and everybody's somewhat, well, I wouldn't say happy, but, well, it's not just uh, the dance of survival we had before. Settlers are exhausted. Okay, let's skip through the night. So, our people here rise and shine at 5 a.m. My god, I wouldn't uh, start thinking about rising at, at these times, but well, 
So what kind of roof can we build over here? Can we build up here? Limestone slate roof. Okay. That's a really, really stable one. How does that actually work? Oh, we can do half roofs too. Ooh, neat. So... I'll go for a wicker roof here. We still got that many sticks from from our wood chopping endeavors, and I feel like it's uh, it's a dumb thing to do to waste those sticks. I mean, we will have enough work to do to get the uh, flooring done. I want to go for I want to go for a wooden flooring inside there. I don't feel established enough for a stone for, uh, for a stone flooring. I always f already felt quite sassy by going for a stone building, but then I felt like a a warehouse is meant meant to be solid, you know. There we go. Nice. The next thing I build might be something multi, uh, multi-storied. I don't know. So I don't mind that we're chopping down a lot of a lot more limestone here. So let's configure our. Wait a sec. Where's the stockpile now? Oh! Dumping stockpile, warfare stockpile. So there can be only... Oh, wait a sec, can there be only one stockpile? I don't think so. Well... Let's check this out. This wouldn't make sense after all, but... Little do I know. So let's see. Shrink the zone. Copy. Deconstruct the zone. And let's see. No. No. It's not the case here. I got no clue why I can't select that zone there, but it doesn't really matter that much. It's a tad bit annoying towards the towards the items in there, but beyond that, little do I care. So I don't want to carry waste around here, and I don't want to carry around bones in here. As soon as I find them, that is carcass here, bones. No, no bones in here, please. Okay. So let's do a simple experiment. Okay. So I got no clue how it came to the, del the deletion of the stockpile here, but that's exactly what happened. <laughs> Whatever. Meanwhile, we're digging out our uh, little our little summer seller. I feel like I need to cancel these orders. They are clumping up my work schedule and it starts to be important that we get the underground stuff here done. So now I can... Ah! The height! The height thingies were the problem. Yes! That's why. I was on the wrong height layer obviously to to select that thing. Pretty weird, but little do I care. Okay. Fourth red is on the do is on the job now. Wonderful. How's our seller going? Well, Tio is working every day on it, so I'm pretty sure it will come together sooner or later. 
rather sooner than later. I also noticed that my people get a lot of work done during one day. I mean, they basically only sleep six hours per day. That's quite boss. Ooh, what's that? Herbs. Medicine. They are quite colorful and beautiful. I like that. I really like that with this game I can't take a such such a close and direct look at things. It really is uh, very very pleasant. So, well forthward. It's time that we take care of these things. Also it's uh it's necessary for me to whip up some more materials. For clothing because I don't have a full set of uh, summer clothing yet for both of them and possibly we're going to expand our population rather sooner than later so yeah lots of things to be done say did that thing just yes that did collapse how dare you Oh no. It's ruining my cellar. It's now raining into my cellar. Dang it. Let's see, maybe I can... It just broke down. Into my house. Outrageous. Can I do anything about that? Can't place building far from a stable structure. Okay. Well, let's see if we can do it like this then. Hmm. Well, it's going to be quite an interesting experiment. Ha! Alright. We filled the hole with a column. <laughs> yeah, why not? I mean, it only makes sense, doesn't it? So this room here has minus 1.5 degree inside. Wonderful. So let's create a stockpile here. And that's going to be only for food. There we go. Well, let's say meals are not included. Stimulants. Well, I don't know if these are suffering from a uh, punishing shelf time or something like that, but let's assume they do. Okay, now the hauling has begun. Do I have here vegetable rot piles? Oof. We're completely out of food. Oh yeah, so uh, I need a dumping stockpile. Totally forgot about that one. So let's put that here and... Yeah. Waste is going to be put there. Wonderful. So we need some extra food. Got it. Harvest those mushrooms. I mean, I only got one unit of stew left, so probably not that easy. But this won't be happening in the future now because I have the store, the proper storage. So that's why the storages were really important. Okay. Why is he so slow? Oh, because the speed is, is, is lowered. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, Teothic is uh, on the job. And we have all manner of different items here. And I'd say it's about time to consider hunting things and such. 
So let's use that wonderful trick one more time. There's a wolf, and there's some deer. There's some settler. <laughs> okay. I'd say we're going to we're going to hunt these uh, wolves here, or this wolf rather, I should rather say. It's only one wolf, and I'm pretty sure we should be perfectly fine taking it down. Just going to use Forthrit's uh, fighting prowess here to tank the wolf. There we go. Now we're doing it with teamwork. Yo, Forthrit, I, I, I said teamwork. And Teothic, you run. Forthrit, you. You're supposed to attack the wolf now. Okay, there we go. Okay, so extra food. The basics are now dealt with. We got a room for everybody and we got food, we got a few fields. Well. A little bit of a garden more, but let's see how this will all work out. Because honestly, I really got no clue how difficult it is in this game to get a proper stockpile of things together. It's really hard to tell for me. So we have 34 leathers. Teothic turned 26 today. Cheers to your birthday, my man. Settlers are exhausted. I get that. So there's salt. I wonder what I can do with salt. Research available. Preserving food. Smokehouse and smoked meat can be stored for several months. Actual cooking. Wooden weaponry. Hmm. Clay brick making. Furniture. Let's unlock furniture. I really think that would uh, be a kind of a big deal here. Okay, so I think it's about time to consider upgrading our situation here a little bit more. I feel like Forthrit could use something, something bigger than this little hut that, that, that he's living at. And I'm actually considering using the hut now as, you know, just a place where we do our research and build him a proper room to live at. So, or a proper house, much more. But before we can think about this, we need to harvest a little bit of that. There we go. Tall grass for the beds. So, well. The other option would be just dismantling the uh, the roof and constructing a second story on top of it. I mean, let's do this. This is such a fun idea. Let's give that order. Oh, I think I just... Uh, ordered things to be deconstructed that I didn't want to. Yeah, okay, there we go. 
It's this, the hot key for that K. Okay, there we go. And now we'll just uh, add in some beams. There we go. And extra walls. And then, if everything works out how I imagine it should, We'll have a basically a second room which is not even connected with the with the basement. Let's put a window in there for future temperature regulations. And let's put the floors over here. Yeah, it's working out exactly as I wanted it to be. And then a fresh wicker roof on top of that. There we go. Settlers are exhausted. Yeah, that's okay. Putting a lot in, a, a lot of strain on them lately. Also, I feel like I need to replant some trees rather soonish because we're running out of materials here. So let's say we're going to replant some birches over here. Let's see how this, uh, what this will bring. Grow time 62 days. It's a couple of days, isn't it? Okay. Can't wait for that one to be finished. Settlers are becoming annoyed. Yeah, desperately thirsty. I really want to prepare a um, a option to uh, to create alcohol quite soon because I just feel like I want to. Okay. 47 leather, by the way. How much for a summer clothing? 40. Okay. Nice. So I'm going to uh, override Forthrit's research uh, jobs now a little bit. Because I want these materials to be chopped, you know. That should be enough to construct the whole thing here. Okay, fourth grid can now continue his studies. Intellectual 10 by now, I really like that. And we are at 15 books now. Oh, brewing, haha. -ha. So, brewing station, ale, beer, and rough wine. Okay. So, we probably should consider building a brewery soon. I mean, we are, after all, growing barley, so... What kind of alcohols were the others? Ale and beer. Okay. Well, that's going to be something for the next episode, I'd say. But what I want to do now is I want to plant down some extra barley. Because I got the slight feeling as if we would be happy to have it. Okay. 
So upstairs, we'll have a wooden bed. And let's see what kind of furniture can I have beyond that. Chairs. Okay. What's the matter when I'm uh, lacking? Wood again? My god. Well. But at least tomorrow this uh, hot will be done. And I really like the effect that you have one room on the front side and uh, another room on the back side on top of the other, each other. I like that. We do start to get a, a real uh, nice and uh, lovely villagey look onto this whole operation here. So there's no food stockpiled here. Why? Ah, because foods are still allowed in here. Good thing that I paid attention to that. Would have been a little bit annoying. Okay, so that's that's our episode for today. I thank you guys so much yet again for watching. It's been my pleasure. We're, uh, we're really getting there. I am very, very happy to see how everything has evolved, and I hope you guys are enjoying the ride as well. We've got a big bad storage house, we got a new living room for Forthrid, and overall things are looking quite good. So feel free to drop me a comment down below. I thank you so much for your uh, past comments, they were really lovely to read and helped me a lot too. Leave a thumbs up on that series to make it more visible, or check out my channel. I do a lot of content, daily videos, and you just need to subscribe and turn on those notifications, and you won't miss anything in the future. Also, check out the links down there below. You'll find there my Twitch channel where I do daily streams, so maybe you might want to get in touch. I'd be really, really happy about that. Last but not least, you'll also find links to buy me some coffee or other f forms of financial support. I would be really, really happy about a helping hand there, but the biggest form of support has already be, get, been given. You watched this video, which means insanely much to me. So thank you for that, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.